Cal Golden Bears, seven and six last year, four and five in the conference. They returned four starters on offense, seven on defense. Experience wise, number ninety three in the country. Not great. Number nine in the conference. Head coach Justin Wilcox has completely flipped Cal's philosophy. Look, in Sonny Dykes' last year, that was 2016, they had the number 10 total offense, number 125 total defense. In 2018, last year, they had the number 115 total offense and the number 15 total defense. They completely flipped. Completely flipped the script. Sophomore quarterback uh, Chase Garber, he's back with three offensive linemen, but an all-new supporting cast. Uh, they need to replace workhorse running back Patrick Laird. Uh, they, they need skill players. They need guys, right? Okay. And they weren't very explosive to begin with. So I, know, so I know you can make numbers say whatever you want. It's one of those situations where maybe those dudes that aren't coming back are a good thing. Maybe. Or it could be a coaching thing. Yeah. But we'll see, right? We'll, we'll see what's going on. I like Will. Uh, the defense allowed 24 or more just two times in 2018. <laughs> and... They will be great again. They're returning all five starters in the secondary. They were number nine against the pass in the country. Uh, the offense has got to find a way to score more. They lost four games when holding teams to 24 or less. They were the number 116 scoring offense in the country last year. Uh, their over-under is six. You go over, it's plus 120. You go under, it's minus 140. <sighs> um, you're not going to like this. I got them four and eight. I got them two and seven in the conference. Look, my wins, I've got them winning against UC Davis, against North Texas, against Arizona State, and against Oregon State. But then I've got a loss at Washington, at Ole Miss, at Oregon, at Utah, and then losses to Washington State, USC, at Stanford, and at UCLA. This is it's just not going to happen. <laughs> like <laughs> I knew we were going to fight about that. But that's just <laughs> that's just not not realistic. It's just not going to happen. Like. I don't know if they're going to win. I've got them seven and and where am I at? Start. Seven and five. Seven and five. I was I was doing NFL stuff and almost said seven and nine. Um, <laughs> I've got them seven and five, and I've got a coin flip game at at, at Ole Miss right down the road. I think they win that, but if they lose that, it wouldn't shock me. Okay, and then I've got them beating USC and UCLA. All right, so that's okay. that's the three game difference that we've got. You can convince me they'll lose one of those games. They're not going to lose both of those games. They won't finish the season 0 and 3. That well, I've, just, I've got them losing the that, last five. Well, I know that. That's just not going to happen because great coach teams don't do that. It, they figure out ways to win ball games. Well, I mean, li- listen to the end of the schedule, though. It's I, at Utah, I, I get it. Washington State, USC, at Stanford, at UCLA. I understand. But like, I don't think that at USC and at UCLA, it's something that they should be afraid of. No, I don't think that they'd be afraid of it, but I think as far as talent goes, when, as far as teams that will be able to put up some points, even though they're going against Cal's defense, I think those teams will be able to put up points. See, I I don't know that that's true because I think Cal's defense going up against USC's offensive line, we covered this in the last game, yeah. last section. Like, I don't I don't know that USC is just throwing up 30. I mean, you might be right. I just don't. I just don't but but I, I, I got a lot of trust the, in, in Graham Harrell. The other part of it is a great coach is not going to let his team lose five in a row. They're just not going to happen. You can convince me that they come on the road and they come all the way across the country and they come to the Mississippi Heat and they lose to Ole Miss. That absolutely could happen. If that's a night game, it's good for Cal. If it's a, if it's a noon game, it, that's it bad. is real bad for Cal. Yeah. And it's not a body clock problem. It's going to be 120 degrees on the field problem. And that's like, that's week four, so they don't have the time for that one just yet. But Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can convince me that could happen. I could be wrong on that. That's a coin flip game. I flipped a coin. It came up Cal. Um, I, I trust Cal's coach better than I trust the coach. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Right now. But there's just no way you're going to convince me that they're going to. I don't know when they're going to. Maybe they win at Utah. Maybe they pull off a crazy upset. Maybe they come off, off, a, off the bye week and. Beat Washington State. I mean, I they almost did last year, right? I don't know the answer. I know this. They won't lose five in a row because they're too great of a coach to team. Okay. Great coaches don't let that happen. So you've got them seven and five. Got them seven and five. And I've got them four and eight. Not good. If Not they good. end up six and six, I would I would still feel fine about that. Four I and eight, that. I just can't believe. What's the over-under? Over-under six. 
but the under is minus 140, the over is plus 120. So they it, Vegas seems to think that they're going to be basically right on the numbers. Yep. And I can believe that. Yep. All right. I, 